hello, this is JW, and uh, this video we're going to look at this, which is a plug, it's actually off a vacuum cleaner. It's been cut off because the uh, fault is actually in the wire here somewhere, or possibly in the plug itself. Uh, the vacuum cleaner just stopped working, and uh, if you bent the lead around like this, it would sometimes work and sometimes not. And uh, just want to open it up and see what's inside and see what the actual problem is, whether it's the wire that's broken or some other faulty connection inside the moulded part. Now the cabling actually is fairly robust inside, so it seems unlikely that something of that thickness would have totally broken through. But uh, anyway, we'll see what's inside and uh, see what the problem is. Now here is the plug, and it's a moulded on style, as you would uh, typically get with any appliance these days. Uh, it's got the three pins. The earth is metal, but uh, it's not actually connected because this is just a line and neutral arrangement or a uh, class two appliance. Uh, fuse is fine, that's actually in the uh, line of course, so we'll just check that. Perfectly fine. The neutral wire is also fine, if we just uh, twist that on. And then we'll see the neutral uh, connected through there, no problem. However the line, or the brown wire, is not connected at all, so put that there nothing, and of course it's not connected to the others either, and it's not a problem with a pin because it's not connected to either side of the fuse at all, so clearly uh, it's broken and I think it's somewhere in here, and when I had this plugged in on the actual vacuum if you sort of bent this around it would actually uh, sort of work for a minute and then if you moved it slightly it would obviously fail. It's a fairly common problem with vacuum cleaners in that uh, this obviously gets bent around a lot. And of course uh, something breaks, but uh, I'm quite surprised that it has broken as this wire it's not exactly what you call thin, it's quite a substantial size. Let's bring the uh, ruler there, I mean these are millimetres on the top here and see it's quite a reasonable thickness of wire there, so not the sort of stuff you'd expect to fall to pieces after only 18 months or so, which is how old this thing is. So let's see if we can cut into this and see what's uh, happening inside. Right, so it's just taking that cover of the cable away, and uh, this doesn't look to be damaged at all here, which uh, is quite surprising, because we would expect the damage to be in the flexible component there, but, uh, well, there's the problem, look at that. So uh, it's not uh, actually in the uh, wire itself, it's just apparently not attached to anything inside, so fairly... Uh, Surprising that just pulls out like that. Right, here's a closer look there, and you see the neutral there is pretty well uh, attached to something in the side, and this has just pulled out of the hole there, so uh, that's not what you'd expect to happen. Clearly, this is uh, supposed to be attached in there, it obviously isn't. I mean, that is quite difficult to pull out, actually, that neutral. Yeah, I mean, a substantial amount of effort there to. And it, you know, it doesn't even pull out, so I just thought this just fell out with no effort at all. So what we need to do is open the uh, plug up a bit further and see what we can find inside. Now of course these things are not supposed to be opened up, so actually it's not uh, desperately easy to get into them, but uh, we'll persevere and uh, hopefully remove this uh, flexible covering to see what's underneath. Well, I got rid of most of the grey covering and uh, you can see that's the earth connection there which is of course not connected in this case. And this uh, neutral, even though I've actually uh, managed to cut through it with a knife, it's still pretty firmly attached on there. So Now this part appears to be uh, welded shut of course, which is uh, not very helpful so uh, maybe I say to uh, drill it out or uh, Cut off some of these lugs or something around the edge there. So, 
have a go with that. Right, that's got the uh, back off of that. They really don't want you to get in here, do they? Now the neutral is there. Just see under that bit of plastic. And as you see, it's still attached to that cup there, that crimped in uh, style of connection. And even with the cover in this ruined state, it's actually uh, very well attached there. As you can see, I can just cut through, and it's the wire that's broken. Uh, rather than the uh, actual crimp into the uh, little cup on there, that just goes straight through to the terminal. Uh, the live is here on this pin, so that comes in via there, and then obviously goes through to the fuse holder on the back, and then the outgoing live would be here. But as you can see, there's no obviously connection there. Now, that thing is the crimp cup which is actually just snapped off at the base there it would be on like that but uh, even without that uh, the problem here is that this has not been crimped closed as you can see the uh, it just sits there and the top is sort of wide open well, so I'll just get a bit closer on that cup there as so we can compare it to this uh, earth one which hasn't been used and of course the neutral there which has been used so I'll uh, just uh, get the different lens on and uh, clean up some of this mess as well. Now this is the neutral terminal here and as you can see it's still got those bits of copper wire attached in there and you see on the side where it's been crimped fairly clearly on that uh, section there where it's been uh, pressed in with the uh, crimping tool and those wires are still pretty well attached so I'll just get hold of them there they don't actually pull out without breaking and uh, fraying all over the place so that's fine. This is the earth terminal which wasn't actually used in this particular plug. But as you can see it has actually been crimped on the side as well even though there's no wires in it. Now this is the live terminal here and as you can see the metal has sheared off. That's probably because I had to uh, rip the back off and cut at it with a knife to uh, get in there. Uh, but uh, here's the other part of it and you see it's actually just a clean fracture there. Now if you look at the side of it there, there is a slight indentation where it has been crimped. Let's rotate it there. So it has been in the crimp machine, but as you see the indentation on that is very, very small compared to the size of the neutral one. See that side is totally plain. Again that's the view from the other end, that's the bit that actually broke off, but again you can see clearly right through it. So it's pretty obvious that that was not crimped down correctly as uh, any wire in there literally just fall out and of course that's uh, exactly what happened in this situation. If you view it from the top there, it's the same problem. The cup is uh, completely wide open in there. You can see straight through to the bench below and the uh, crimp indentation in the side, which is just at the top of the uh, picture there, is extremely slight somebody went at it with a pair of pliers rather than the proper crimping machine. So that's the story of that uh, horrible plug which uh, turned out to be not the wire breaking, it was actually the wire wasn't even attached to the terminal properly in the first place so hardly surprising it uh, failed after a fairly short time. So that vacuum cleaner was only about 18 months old so uh, certainly would expect it to last longer than that. Uh, the vacuum cleaner has been repaired, it just has a new plug uh, put on it of course, that was an easy fix. I just wondering about these, if you uh, do take plugs apart or leave them a bit to wire on, don't just uh, put this in the bin or something, because if someone got hold of this they could plug it into a socket and of course uh, live parts and all kinds of things exposed on the back, so uh, anything like that or a plug with a bit of attached wire needs to actually be totally destroyed before it's disposed of, generally breaking the pins off or something like that, so if anyone did get hold of it and plug it in they wouldn't kill themselves, and if you think that's unlikely, such things have actually happened in the past, and people or children have actually been killed as a result of that. And just a final point, in fact, uh, I was actually cutting on this uh, green cutting mat, which is very cheap, not actually destroying the uh, anti-static surface on the desk, which of course is very expensive. Till next time, thanks for watching.